Life is a winding road. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. I'm gonna take a break from the substitute teacher content just for a little bit. I don't want it to get too repetitive and like only do that. I'm gonna give you a Saturday vlog. It's 9.33. Me and Tommy stayed in bed until like 8.30. The kids woke up at like 6, we made them stay in bed until 7 until we turned on the TV and told them like get out so we can have like another hour to ourselves. But we ate breakfast and now the kids are actually outside because Tommy's doing some yard work. This is probably the first time ever I'm outside at 9 o'clock in the morning. Tommy's actually gonna cut these two trees. So without us realizing, those two trees behind our shed actually started growing like really high. Yeah, and they weren't like that before. And then one day we looked and we were like, whoa, like where did those come from? So yeah, they're definitely encroaching on the neighbor's yard. So we finally have a day that we can get some stuff done. So yeah, he's gonna cut those two trees down. We got their stuff like all over here because we had somebody come and cut the grass. Because our riding lawnmower, my brother was cutting the grass one night and it was getting dark outside and he cut it and then all of a sudden he hears something and he ran something over so there's like a little piece that fell off of it so yeah now we have to get it fixed <laughs> ziki's trying to go over there to help i got my coffee so i'm just gonna be here watching them do all the work i actually want to go to marshall's and do a little bit of shopping so i'm gonna take you guys along with me in that i have like a whole list of things in mind to get so i'm really excited for that it's really right on the fence that's crazy it's getting harder as i get deeper. <laughs> how big this tree is Nick, it looks so much better now. And now we just have all those trees. Tommy's exhausted. And Zeke went inside the little house because it started drizzling. Zeke, it's not raining no more. All right. So it started raining, so we had to come inside. Tommy's just working on a bunch of like little projects. Now he's just trying to get them all done in one day. Yeah. So everybody's getting a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The only thing that I can do is clean, and I don't want to clean right now. The only thing that I wanted to do today was do laundry. Like I just wanted to do like laundry all day long, but we have no laundry detergent. So that's on Tommy's to-do list too when he goes out to go and get laundry detergent. So I can't start what I gotta do until, you know, until we get laundry detergent. <sighs> I could go to the basement and start cleaning the basement because the basement right now is literally so bad. It's like a hot mess because you guys know we've had those leaks. So we have like towels down there that are like old towels that we use to like clean up the water when there's a hot mess. We have all of our summer clothes down there. I'll take you guys downstairs. Don't judge me. Here. You want more? You want more peanut butter and jelly, Zeke? Yeah? Lainey, you want more peanut butter and jelly? Okay. One more round of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and then I'll take you to the basement. Dun dun dun. more more juice? You ran out of water already? Every single time. I'm about to start, and look at this. Lainey, if you want more water too, you gotta bring me your water bottle. Okay. This is Ezekiel. Is it Ezekiel? Yep, thank you. All right, for real this time. For real, for real, for real. <sighs> All right. <laughs> I still got Super Bowl balloons hanging up. Look, that one's still surviving too. Over here, over here, hot mess, hot mess, some towels. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a little crazy over here. <gasps> when did that fall? The kids jumping upstairs because their room is literally right above here. Damn, now I really do have to clean. Still have the table, the chairs set up from the Super Bowl. <laughs> Guys, like, I suck. Like, let me find the control so I can just put some music on. <laughs> I just found Tommy's AirPods. Tommy lost his AirPods months ago. I saved all gift bags, you guys. All of them. Yeah. Guess what I found? What? Look. Where were they? They were in the recliner in the little cup holder. I have all of my old frames down here. I just don't know what I'm gonna do.
do with them yet or if I'm gonna even put them back up or if I'm just gonna do something different when I put it back up. I don't know. Feel this way and it's kind of strange. Don't even know your name. needs a good sweeping mopping vacuuming all that but today's not the day for that all right i picked up as much as i could we also need to get this detergent because i don't want to wash any of those dishes by hand and that's something funny well it's funny to me so since we live in new jersey and there's a ban on plastic bags when melena decides to like have a blowout i don't want to use like the big plastic bags for like the trash bags i don't want to use those every single time to like dump it out and i also don't want to keep using reusable bags so whenever i get something like this I save it, I put her thing in there, and this becomes the trash bag for the dirty diapers. And I do that with like produce bags. Like I try to save, literally I try to save bags everywhere I can. Even though I really should just get little doggy bags because that's what I used to do before. We did groceries yesterday, so we are not eating out this weekend. We have food at the house. We have food at the house. We've been saving money to fix our heater, AC, blower, like the blower basically went out. Um, so we've been saving money for that. So like next week is the week that he is coming to like start the work. So we can't spend no money. Unfortunately, that forces me to have to cook. But I'm gonna make pizza for lunch, and I'll just like take out some um, some turkey beef for later, and then just make like tacos later. Super simple. I think that's it for my cleaning part of this video. Hopefully, this next part will be shopping part of the video. When you don't feel like washing dishes. All right, guys. I've escaped. It felt bad though because Tommy definitely did want to like get out the house and like walk around or whatever. But the kids were not like in the best mood and Melina needed to take a nap. And I didn't want to go late because it's already getting like it's all dark and gloomy and it's getting kind of cold today. So I stopped and got me a little hot chocolate. So I don't think I mentioned this this morning, but I have officially, officially, damn, there's somebody passing by. <laughs> But I have officially cut off caffeinated coffee. I've cut off caffeinated coffee and I don't drink uh, like alcohol. I don't drink alcohol like often at all. But I, but I have drunk it like socially and stuff. But I've also cut off alcohol as well from my life completely. Because even when the times that I do only like have like one drink. I get severe anxiety afterwards and then which i don't really care for cutting off alcohol like i didn't have my first sip of any type of alcohol until i was like 20 years old when i was just when i just tried it like so i don't really like care for drinking but caffeinated coffee on the other hand y'all know that that is a big part of my daily life my morning routine but it's okay i just switched it out for decaf because my health right now with my anxiety and my anxiety attacks i need to reduce that and that is a way that i know for a fact will help reduce the amount of anxiety attacks that i get I'm not taking in any caffeine but yeah i didn't i already had a decaf coffee this morning so i just wanted to get some hot chocolate just something a little warm to put in my belly while i shop uninterrupted just just me myself and i and just i don't remember the last time that i actually like came somewhere by myself and i felt like i didn't have to rush and i wasn't like on a time limit i'm really excited to do a little bit of shopping so like i said earlier i have a gift card so that's the best way to go shopping right <laughs> with the gift card They have a lot of nice clearance today. $12? That's not really clearance. $8? That's not really clearance either. Let's see this one. $6? Oh, that one's not that bad. This is really pretty though. $5.50. Oh, these are really nice. $8? Ooh. Ooh, it started raining. Let me push my car back so i look crazy my baby hairs are all out so i got a lot of things i got a lot of things and i still didn't even make it to 200 dollars. as much as i tried to get there i still didn't make it so i still have 13 dollars left on the gift card which is perfect i'll just save it you know for another day uh, but i definitely did try to spend it all today because my main thing was i just needed more clothes for work even though i go to a different school every day so it doesn't even matter i could wear the same thing every single day and nobody will know because i go to a different school um i just want more stuff to like also like wear out like just some dressy 
sincere sweaters so let me show you what i got all right first thing that i grabbed was new mittens i wanted like cuter ones but but the cuter one was like 17 dollars. i'm not paying 17 dollars for no mittens this was seven dollars this is more like it so then i got some underwear Ooh, yes i am showing my underwear on youtube so i paid ten dollars which i thought was a really good deal because it comes with five of them and i love this material and then here's my first sweater in the color brown all of them i got were were really neutral i don't know it's just once you find the colors that you like wearing and I, the colors that i think that i look best in and that i know how to style i don't i don't know how to style clothes guys like i don't know how to dress so when i find like a specific certain style that i like i keep getting it because to me it's easy i don't have to think about it i just throw it on so you're gonna be seeing a lot of cardigan sweaters this one was 14.99 and then i got this shirt yeah i'm really into stripes lately this shirt was on clearance for 12 dollars, and then i found these two pajama pants on clearance a little cheetah print action and they were on clearance for five dollars and then i found this one that has a bunch of coffee and lattes on it this was also five dollars we desperately needed a new shower curtain 17 dollars for a shower curtain seems very steep to me but this does feel like really good quality and our other one was around twenty dollars and it did last us a long time but it's like beat up yeah we definitely needed a new shower curtain for sure but yeah so 17 dollars a little checkered print just to bring in i don't know bringing us a little pattern in the bathroom and then i found a pair of work pants that i really 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 like like they're so comfortable the only issue is they're a little bit too big on the waist area. I'm going to see if I can use my grandmother's sewing machine and see if she can just show me how to like just take it in. And this was $20. Next thing that I got is another sweater. I like this one. It's a little bit different than the other ones because it comes up in the front a little bit. So I know I can wear this one with my jeans and it'll look super cute. And this one was actually $15, which I thought was a really good deal for this one. And then here is another sweater. But I wanted to get a gray sweater. So I have like a tan long sweater. I have a black long sweater. So I wanted to get a gray long sweater. I don't know this gives off like very much teacher vibes for me like long sweaters like this like reminds me of a teacher so like I wanted to have like one of each color <laughs> and it has pockets and this one was $20 so this is a jacket and it's in the tan color yeah I was really looking for a coat but I couldn't find one that I liked at least this was $25 like that oversized feel but it is still a large all of the stuff that I grabbed were all size large so I'm really excited about this like I will put this over everything and use it as my jacket all right that was one that was one bag and then now let me show you the second bag all right the second bag is nothing crazy but it's like all little things that I really wanted to get so first thing first I grabbed two different styles of these to-go cups I grabbed a planer one so that I can give to Tommy and then I grabbed this flowery one for me obviously they were on clearance for four dollars they're already like getting rid of all of the fall stuff which is so crazy to me because it just hit mid-october so there was a bunch of clearance items this one was also four dollars so this was on clearance for eight dollars ours broke the kids actually dropped it inside the sink and then it, the whole thing up here like popped off so we needed a new one so i was like let me just grab one and i grabbed one that matched a little bit with the checkered shower curtain and then found a hazelnut syrup but this gigantic syrup thing was only 4.99 all right we only have three things left the next thing is I grabbed a bunch of silicone utensils. So I had the the wooden ones, but I don't want to have to boil them like every like every week or after every like I don't want to have to deal with the whole cleaning process of the wooden spoons. Like, but that's too much maintenance for me. I want to be able to just toss it in the dishwasher with everything else because I don't want to wash dishes. Then next thing that I grabbed is I needed a new beauty blender. And this was on clearance for three dollars and beauty blenders can be like six dollars plus so i'll take that and then the last thing that i got was a notepad and that's it you guys that's my haul now i'm gonna go back home start all of the loads of laundry that we have to do we're probably gonna be yeah doing laundry for the rest of the day look at our mitts guys <laughs> this is disgusting please don't judge me or you can judge me it's fine i don't mind yeah we were in need of an upgrade for sure i'm gonna put this up now because i want to see how it looks thank you for your service It's so cute. I love it. I gotta clean this situation and that situation, but love. Mommy's making yellow rice for the first time tonight. 
getting our ingredients ready. I'll let y'all know how this goes. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so it's been a minute. We just got done eating and putting the kids to bed. The food came out good. It needed a little, a little bit more seasoning though, but for his first time, it came out pretty good. I told you guys all day that I had so much laundry that I was gonna determine to do today, that I had to do today. One load will be done. I'm gonna transfer this into here and that's it. I'll do it tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It's a nice little change up from what I've been posting lately. If there is anything in particular that you guys would want to see in future videos, let me know. Put it down in the comments below. I read every single comment and I respond to every single comment. So definitely let me know. So if you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe. As always, I appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you guys in the next one.